Hi, welcome to Any Girl Dad. I'm Mark. This week's going to be a follow on from last week's video where I took these old Hornby Lima coaches, gave them a respray into an Irish livery. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above and down below so you can catch up on it. So we're going to take the interiors of these coaches, give them a little bit of paint, add some detail, add some figures to it, and then put them in the coach. So let's crack on with that. Here's the interior of the coaches. You can see the seats, some of the dividing walls. So what I'm going to do is paint the tables. So I'll just paint them a white color. Uh, the walls, I'll give them a gray, just so they stand out a bit more. And then I've got some of these generic sitting people. So I'm going to give them a bit of a paint as well, because uh, they're a bit uh, bright colors. So um, I needn't worry about having to paint the legs because to fit in the seats, they're going to have to be amputated. So I'll paint some of them later on. But I'm going to get on now, start painting these, and then I'll come back and show you how they look. Here's the three interiors of the coaches now I've painted up. You can see there I've painted the tables. I've even gone into a bit more detail and painted the armrests and the sides. A silvery colour, the floor and the end walls. Uh, I've also painted a few of the figures. So I'm going to paint some more of the figures now. And how I do that is I have a block here, some blue tack or plasticine or play-doh, whatever you have handy. Take the figures, put them in. Now because these are sitted figures and they're going to be have their legs cut off, I can just put the legs into the blue tack there because they're not going to be painted. And just put them all in like so and then that holds them firm while I do some painting. I think I'm going to paint about uh, 30 in total. Now these, I think I got these off probably off Wish or something like that. Um, they're fairly cheap figures. They're not very well painted. You can see they're very bright sort of goldy colours. So I'm just going to tone them down a bit. Um, they're also the more HO scale than double O scale, but I think they actually uh, they fit into the seats a little bit better. There they are there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint some of them white, so white shirts. So I'm just taking a brush. Now the great thing about having a block of wood like this, it gives you something to hold. Because uh, one of the problems is if you're painting something small like this, it's fiddly to hold. And also it can, if you're holding something small, it can induce shakes in your hand. So by doing it like this, I can hold it with a hand, hold it steady. And with my other hand, I'm actually resting it as much as I can on the surface, on the table here. So that help, that helps reduce shakes as well. So it's just about getting it into position. A little bit of paint using a very small paintbrush. This is a 10 stroke zero. So it's got a very small head. And we're just painting the top half of the figure. Just take your time, sit at your desk, put some music on, and just chill out for an hour, painting the figures. So I'm going to carry on with this, and I'll come back and show you when I finish painting, and you can see how they look. So there's the painting on these figures complete. So I'm just going to leave them to dry now. Then we can uh, fit them in the coach. So what I used for painting them is just some of the Tamiya paints. Red, white, black there for doing trousers and hair. 
and then I've used some of these other paints. These are sort of general ones you get in pound stores and hobby shops. I've got some silver there, Venetian red, the blue, and natural grey. So it's all these paints that I used on painting the figures and for painting the interior of the coaches. Uh, brushes I used. There's uh, that one there. That's a quadruple zero. It's got a small head on it. And then I've just used some general other brushes. I think these came out of a pack from Lidl. And then the other brush, the white one that you've seen previously. This one. So I got these from a hobby store for doing the finer detail. So next thing is to add a bit more detail to these. So what I've got here is from Model Railway Scenery. I've got some newspapers and crisp packets and uh, plastic bags, that sort of thing. It's from their litter pack. Yeah, so you can see it's for double zero, double O four mil. And there's the code for it. And what I've also done is I've made up my own sheets. So I've just gone on to the internet, found some Im images, put them on a Word document, and then just printed them off. So I'll make this available as a PDF, and I'll put a link to that in the description. So if you want it to print it off, you can see in here I've got some newspapers and different crisps and chocolate bars and that. They're about the right size, so I'll just print them off on an A4 sheet and cut them out. So I'm going to cut those out now and add a bit of detail in, and then uh, you can have a look at it. Here's the completed interiors now with the litter added. So we've got some newspapers, chocolate wrappers, crisp bags, plastic bags, just to give it some extra detail. So they're all held in place using this rocket card glue. And to use that, I've just dispensed some of it into a container and then using a cocktail stick to grab a small amount of it, place it where it's needed, and then stick the items down on top of it using a pair of tweezers, as you can see here. Now we need to add the people. So we take our painted figure grab some snips, cut off the legs, and then we grab tweezers just to make it easier to place them. And then we dip it in some of the glue, the same glue we used for putting the other detail in. And then we just plunk them in a chair, make sure they're in the right position, and then just leave the glue to dry. It's as simple as that. So I'll carry on adding figures and then we can come back and take a look. There's the uh, completed interiors now. All complete with passengers, little bits of rubbish, they're all being painted up. They just add an extra dimension to the carriages. And then I have this pile of legs. You got any ideas of what to do with those? Stick them in the comments. But that's where we're going to leave the video for this week. Um, next week I'll be putting the lighting into the coaches. So I'll be putting, putting the interiors and doing the lighting. I've also got some of from DCC, some tail lamps. 
So I'll be fitting the tail lamp to one of the carriages. Hope you find that useful and informative on detailing the interior of the coaches. Um, if you haven't seen the video where I resprayed the outside of the coaches, I'll link that up above and the links down below. It was great to get some positive feedback from that. There were some great tips and suggestions on how to improve the paint schemes on that. So if you're looking at that, do go through the comments and see some of the suggestions. As I said, I'll be back next week with the light fitting onto these coaches and that will be the, the final bit and then we can see them go around the layout. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.